Hey there! If you're looking to offer pre-orders on your store, you're in the right place. I'll walk you through how to set up pre-orders using Pre-Order Now so you can start capturing sales before your products are available. It's super easy, so let's dive in. First, head over to your app section and open the Pre-Order Now app. Now that we're here on the dashboard, you'll see these onboarding steps that will guide you in setting up pre-orders. And as stated here, Let's enable the app from your theme editor. Just click the Open Theme Editor button and it'll take you straight there. Enable the app embed and don't forget to hit Save. Now back to the dashboard. The next step is to add your pre-order products or enable pre-orders for a specific product tag. If you want to add pre-orders to individual products, click on the Pre-order Products tab, then select Add Pre-order Product at the top right. Pick the products you want to add pre-orders to, and if the product has variants, you'll see them listed below. From this selection, you can choose which variants should be included or excluded. Once you're happy with your selections, just click Add. If you prefer to add pre-orders to products using a tag, switch to the Pre-order Tags tab. Then click the Add Pre-order Tag button, type the product tag in the text box, and check the option to enable pre-orders for that tag. Don't forget to hit save after that. Now let's go back to the pre-order products tab to see the products we added. Here's what you'll see when you open one of the variants. You'll find the status at the top and the option to enable or disable the pre-order for this variant. You can also set custom settings just for this variant if you'd like. Just enable this option and you'll see the available settings appear. Now, if you notice that the variant inventory or details are incorrect, you can click Sync Products to make sure the app updates the information. You'll also find the Launch Date Notification section where you can set the date when an email alert is sent to your customers who pre-ordered the product. Now that you've enabled pre-orders for your products, they'll automatically use the default settings. So the next step is to go to the Settings section. Here's where you'll find all the important settings including default settings. This tab includes the settings like for when the pre-order option appears on the product page and the button and badge settings. Advanced options is where you can access additional settings like selectors and jQuery. Email is where you can manage email notifications for pre-orders. If you're wondering where to check your plan status, you'll find it in the plan section. On this page, you'll see your current plan and also the option to get free setup support from us. Now, if you ever need a hand getting everything set up, you can request a free setup call right from the Poon dashboard. It's a great way to make sure everything's running smoothly. And that's it. You're all set to start taking pre-orders. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to reach out 